Western Australia. It's happened near the southwest town of Augusta. But one of the deadliest mass whale strandings in WA history has claimed more casualties. It had been a long and devastating day. Authorities believe they simply got to the animals too late after they beached the evening before. No one knows for sure why whales beach themselves. The same beach host to another mass stranding exactly nine years ago. The whales beached themselves in exactly the same place as a group of 80 did on exactly the same day in 2009. I don't know. I don't know what's, what's so special about the 23rd of March. Mary Simonin was travelling here on Naramata Road Sunday afternoon when she made a startling discovery. She took these photos of at least 40 deceased birds littering the street. Well, it was certainly unusual and uh, yeah, no, it was strange and I, I tried to imagine what might have happened. Like, I knew they couldn't have uh, been electrocuted on the lines because birds are on there all the time, but there was, I counted at least 40 of them. The birds have now been removed from the road, but their cause of death remains a mystery. There is a groundbreaking development in Africa tonight. Take a look at this video of the ground breaking open here. The rift is several miles long. And now geologists are warning that a huge crack in Kenya's Rift Valley could be showing signs that the continent is splitting. Just look at that. I mean, the power of nature, hey? Those movements in the earth began last week. Here in Africa, scientists are divided as to how it came to be. Giant crack in the earth opened up almost overnight, 50 feet deep. Scientists, for the most part, agree that the continent is splitting in two, but there is debate over exactly how this most recent fracture was revealed. A mysterious gash in the earth at the very spot where Africa is being slowly torn apart. A 5.3 magnitude earthquake has struck near the Channel Islands in Southern California. Thursday's quake did cause some buildings to shake in the Los Angeles area. The biggest earthquake to hit our area in more than four years rattled the region and some nerves. I thought it was, was worse than the 5.3. The floor started feeling kind of funny. On the Channel Islands at the epicenter, the Eagles knew something was up. A uh, bald eagle, as you can see, left the nest when the quake hit, briefly leaving the little ones behind, but then did fly back. Well, two pilots reported an out-of-this-world sighting last month. They say they may have seen a UFO while flying over Arizona. And was there anybody that sent, uh, above us that passed us like 30 seconds ago? Negative. Pilots in two different planes, one a Learjet, the other an American Airlines jet, reported seeing a mysterious object over Arizona last month, we have learned. The exchange with air traffic control sounded like something out of the Twilight Zone. There were seven one Papa Golf, go ahead. And was there anybody that sent uh, above us to pass us like 30 seconds ago? There were seven one Papa Golf, negative. Okay. Flying the friendly skies at 30,000 feet over Arizona turned a little freaky in February. The FAA just released these radio logs. this. A UFO. It's murdered 295, yeah, something just passed over. So. Not so funny when just minutes later, air traffic control asked a second flight in the vicinity if anything strange happened. Uh, yeah, something just passed over. What was it? The FAA tells us the controller was unable to verify that any other aircraft was in the area. Like a, don't know what it was, but it's at least two, 3,000 feet above us. So yeah, it passed right over the top of us. I think they exist. There's something out there. Look at the mysterious light in the sky. There you see it, followed by a loud boom that rattled some San Jose neighborhoods. The majority of the people that witnessed it live near Branham High School off 85 and Almaden Expressway. Uh, no, we simply don't know what it is, but most people tell us it was louder than any firework they've ever heard. They say they felt it inside their homes. And one thing is clear tonight that, that this has now become the talk of at least several San Jose neighborhoods. You can see this is coming from way over on this side. 
This video posted to a South San Jose next door page shows a small light travel across the sky for about a minute, then a flash and boom, and it disappears. Oh yeah, that doesn't do it justice at all. Dale Johnson says it shook windows and set off car alarms Sunday just before midnight. New Year's Eve, there's always some mortars or M100s or even M1000s going off around here and at the park. We know what those have. This was nothing like that. He's not alone. Next door had more than 120 comments. People saying it sounded like it was right outside their front door. I thought at first that maybe it was the transformer blue, but we've had that happen before and it wasn't that. A lot of people heard it uh, pretty far away too. We asked the FAA if they could identify the flying object. A spokesperson didn't want to guess, but said it did not look like any aircraft operation. The neighbors, including the man whose camera captured it all, is just as confused. I want to find out what it was, but the fact that we haven't heard, you know, it's kind of weird. New at 10, a Mesa man says he caught something on camera that can't be explained. He says it's a UFO. And whether you believe it or not, Arizona has had had its share and been at the center of some major UFO stories in recent months. Guys, this man says he's not exactly sure what he filmed, and frankly, neither are we, but many believe there is something out there, and it seems Arizona has become the center of it all. He shot this video from his cell phone Tuesday, a dot in the sky next to two airplanes that suddenly disappears. Earlier this week, the FAA released audio from late February in which two separate commercial airline pilots claim they too saw something unexplained. And of course, the mother of all UFO sightings, the Phoenix Lights. I got four of them. Major sighting here. It was 1997 when the lights made headlines across the world. Whether the latest sighting is something or nothing, it's fun to wonder. I don't know. I am not an expert on either. There's a lot of things in this world that are unexplained. And this is just one of them. And the FAA and the state told us they don't comment on these types of videos, but guys, the truth is out there. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so Chad, those are some are, amped are, pilots. Yeah, they sound like you two. Um, are you guys believers in extraterrestrial life? Um. I'm a huge fan of Independence Day, <laughs> um, so I'd like to believe that because I kind of would like to, oh, I wouldn't want what happened in Independence Day to happen, but I'd just sort of like to, um, I yeah. second that. <laughs> I'd say if, if they are real, it's time to make contact, you know? And like without being crude, and you can tell me if this is a bridge too far, Jesse, but like, okay. I hope they're hot. <laughs> okay. So y you guys are looking for like, you know, extraterrestrials that may be attractive to humankind. Strange sight at some ski resorts in Eastern Europe. This isn't one of those typical optical illusions. It's actually orange snow. People have been sharing photos of the phenomenon on social media, like these shots from Russia. Skiers in Russia, Ukraine, and several other countries were surprised to see mountains covered in orange snow over the weekend. A massive avalanche of slightly orange-colored snow buried more than a dozen cars at a popular ski resort in Russia. Orange snow, as Mike Kaplan uh, lectured Natalie and I just a few minutes ago, <laughs> happens when sand from the Sahara Desert goes into the atmosphere. It then mixes with snow and rain and then falls over so Eastern you. Europe. It's just unbelievable. That's amazing. It really is. I would be, I'd be like, wait, what is this? Right, you think it's some alien phenomenon? <laughs> I don't think it's so pretty. Do we think it's pretty? I don't know what I think. I think it just looks a little odd. Yeah, it does. It looks odd. Zombie raccoons sound like something out of a bad horror film, but police in Ohio say that this is not a Hollywood script. They have received over a dozen calls recently about animals exhibiting very strange behavior. One man had an encounter with one while walking his dog. It's a so-called zombie raccoon, most likely infected with the distemper virus. And they're exhibiting strange symptoms. Animal control officials say they've been seeing more raccoons just like that 
right here in Cook County. I got the dogs back in the house. The raccoon falls right to the front door. Once inside, Robert, a wildlife photographer, grabbed his camera to document what he called extremely strange behavior. He would stand up on his hind legs, and that, which I'd never seen a raccoon do before, and he would uh, show his teeth, and then he would fall over backwards and go into almost like a comatose uh, c condition. Imagine waking up and seeing this in front of your home as you let your dog out. Oh my God, I would go back inside. Officials say the animals likely had the disease distemper, not rabies. It causes coughing, tremors, and seizures. They also lose their fear of people. That raccoon and 14 others have been euthanized. That is weird. I'd run. Yeah, <laughs> so fast. <laughs> What they're seeing in Ohio is just scary. And, and we know that those raccoons are here the too. Same, the same virus, absolutely. Okay. Thousands of dead shellfish have washed up in the Long Bay Okura Marine Reserve on Auckland's North Shore. Footage taken yesterday morning shows the dead shellfish, mostly cockles, lying on the shoreline at the entrance to the Okura River estuary. The Ministry for Primary Industries is testing the shellfish to determine the cause of death.